Okay, we have here an integral today from the Swinby 2019, problem 16. We have the integral from 0 to pi over 2, sine squared x times e sine x over tan x dx. Okay, now at first, this was a really intimidating expression, and I wasn't really sure where to start. And then I was thinking we have, just notice that we've got sine here, we have sine here, but then we have tangent in the denominator. Well, tangent doesn't work very well with sine. If we want to try to do any kind of u substitution, we want like everything sine cosine, or if we want to make a u substitution for tan, we need like secant squared somewhere. So what I want to do with this tan is let's just write it in terms of sines and cosines. So tangent's just going to be sine x over cosine x. And I was thinking what I can do to clean this up is to cancel this cosine in the denominator, I can just multiply everything by one, just multiplying by cosine x over cosine x then that way this cosine is going to multiply in here and this one's going to just cancel with this one. So when I rewrite this, we're still going from 0 to pi over 2, but then we have this whole thing is going to become sine squared x e sine x. We'll have just cosine x dx here, and then the denominator just becomes sine x. Well, that's pretty good, because then I can just take one of these and cancel with one of these. But now just by doing that one thing, we're in good shape for a u substitution because we've got our sines, but we've got the derivative of sine right there. So what I'm going to do for my u substitution, we'll come over here, we'll just say we'll set u equal to sine x, we'll take a derivative, so du is going to be just cosine x dx. I'll go ahead with this substitution, so let's update our bounds. So first, pi over 2, plugging pi over 2 in here, sine pi over 2 is going to be 1, then it's 0, sine is 0, it's just 0. Then again, this is going to be u and this is going to be u, so we end up with just u times eu and all this is just du. But then this is set up perfect for integration by parts. When we have two functions here, we can split it up. And I'm going to want to differentiate this u. So let's use, let's do the di method over here, tabular integration. So we'll split it up. It's going to be good for me to differentiate u. When I differentiate this, it's going to go to zero. So we'll differentiate u and we'll integrate e to the u. And we'll do this three times, I think. So we differentiate u, we get one. Differentiate again, just zero. Integral of e to the u is going to be just e to the u. We do it again, we have another e to the u. So our solution in u is going to be right here on the diagonals. We got this zero, so we don't have to worry about integrating anything. So let's just go to our solution. What I'm going to do, we have e to the u in common here, so let's factor out an e to the u. So we'll factor that in front. And then here we're going to have just u minus 1. And we just need to evaluate this from 0 to 1. So plugging in 1, this is going to give me e to the 1, which is just e. And then here, this is just going to be 1 minus 1, but that's going to be 0, so this whole piece is going away. And then next, we'll plug in 0, so we're going to have e to the 0. We'll leave it for a minute, and then this is going to be plugging in here. This is going to be 0 minus 1, but e to the 0 is 1. That's nothing. We distribute, we distribute the minus sign. Minus times minus 1 gives me my final solution of just 1. Okay, so there you have it. They kind of disguised it, but it was actually much easier than what it looked like originally. That's it for today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a good day.